It's the Saturday after PASIC. Not sure how exciting this video is going to be today because I've decided to jump back in on the shop organization and Bill's working on the axes of oblivion. I've started by moving the symphony files out. I'm going to do a shuffle here. I've got a list of things I want to do, see how far we get. Bill's got these guitars shaped, the body's glued up. Started painting one just to see what the metallic paint did. I think he's currently sealing it with something, like as a grain filler. Yeah, I got this uh, Glue Boost CA based grain filler. Um, it's it's kind of cool. I've only used it a couple of times, um, but I think I think it's going to be the right thing for the job here. Only one way to find out. He's basically smearing on the glue with a I don't know little, little plastic little, yeah little silicon squeegee thing and then hitting it with the activator. Sticker. We did want to sculpt these more to points, but we we have to balance with durability because the last thing we want is the ends all chipping out or corners breaking off. Yeah, I mean, it would have been cool to make it be like literally an axe blade, but it still has to be a guitar. And if I get time today, uh, I might revisit this. The coat of poly I put on before leaving for PASIC, it's got... Uh, swipe marks. You can see the edges of where I started for the next pass and it's not good. He's making videos for the game company. And I'm stripping down this brocade snare that we sold at PASIC because the customer wants the hardware powder coated in purple. Purple nurple. I've got this area pretty good. All of our drums for sale. There's a couple that are customer pickups and drums we didn't make but could be sold. That bass drum's getting a new light kit. This is marimba frame. Used to be in Bill's basement. Future project. We do have buyers. This old Ludwig and Rogers. Those are future restoration flip projects. We'll probably dig into the Rogers first. It's most complete. And sell it for some cash flow. And that's a future job. There's a lot of future jobs you can see. Bill's uh, nappy time mat. Next, I'm sprucing up the heads, rope, snares. That's all pretty much going to stay. I think I can move some of the refurb snares to the back corner. Sprucing up the muster bug out bag. Some of those tools could probably go, but I'm not going to get a whole shelf out of it, so I'm going to wait on that. Then rearrange this. Get some shell stock on the top. Condense what's going on here. And get this entire row for in progress customer drums. That's the plan. That's the plan. And cut the cast skin out of these because the flesh hoops are pretty much trash at this point. Forgot to put the plugs in. That would have been bad. Leather dye. What in the, I say, what in the tarnation are you doing? Uh, well, I'm making these black. Um, I think it's like, both necks have rosewood fingerboards. Well, Palafaro, like uh, Bolivian rosewood. But they're different colors. Well, they were. <laughs> um, which I didn't really like, and I think it'd be cooler if the fingerboards were black anyway, and since they're not actually ebony. Uh, this black leather dye is what luthiers tend to use to make ebony be all the way black, because um, ebony isn't typically all the way black anymore, but people expect violin fingerboards to look 
like Stradivarius. So uh, luthiers use this stuff to even out the color in ebony all the time, which is how I found out about using that on wood. So I'm basically just doing that and, and making these fingerboards black. Um, I'm gonna make the 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 whole back of the neck black too. The head stocks are getting painted, but I'm just gonna start with this. And it's good base. Yeah, exactly. That's my go-to black as well. USMC black. Yep. And um, obviously, it'll just wipe off the frets. Uh, the dot markers, which. Hopefully the dye will retain some of that, like they'll retain some of the dye. I don't like them anyway. Um, well, how did this one turn out? But uh, yeah, I mean, you, there's, they're not like totally obscured, but you know, it helps. Look good for my house. Anyone in the market for a radial arm saw? You can have it cheap. Jim, you gotta get back to the shop because Bill is destroying things. He says he can fix it before you find out, but now you know. What? You snitching on me? Nope. Talking about that DRO I messed up before <laughs> I have a chance to fix it? <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. I thought you were just putting light kits in the base. Um, so this is, this is, I didn't, I, this is an old Slangerland that somebody converted into a rope drum. Yeah. And then, but they didn't do a very good job. And then the, uh, somebody got it for their kid and then they gave it to me to make it sound good, which I did. And then they figured out you put lights in a drum and they thought their kid would love it, so I did. Um, but now we just wanted to upgrade a battery pack. So that's what I'm doing now. So the battery pack upgrade is for this drum and this drum? Yeah, both of them. Oh, they cool. belong in the same family. I got all the shell stock labeled. Diameter and ply. I got a couple Nordic shells. We're excited to try those out. So 17, 16 along the top over here. Bass drums at the end. 15s and 14s up there. Here's a bunch of off cuts, which we do use as re-rings. So bottom shelf is 17 and 16. Then we have 15, 14, 12, and 11. Moved a bunch of Bill's horn projects and I got the full run of shelves I was looking for for customer in progress, which is sweet. Moved some tools up. I was able to put all the future refurbs across the top, so that worked out. Kept tripping over this dang birdhouse, so helped Bill with it. That's part of his honeydew list. I'm gonna hang the newest PASIC sign. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We are calling it a night. I did sand this back a bit. The lines seem to go away. I'm gonna revisit next week. We might just throw Odie's oil over. Well, it's gotta be six, seven coats of poly on this thing. I feel like if I keep going with poly, I'm just gonna keep finding the issues and we'll just be chasing it forever. So if I can Odie's oil it, we can get the lugs back on. Order some hoops and get it out the door. Yeah, I think Steve Weiss is gonna, gonna help us out there. Hoops for these things are uh, a little hard to find, actually. Yeah. And I mean, they can be really expensive. Really expensive, but I think, I, think we might, I think we might have some good options. And then what's this one? Just needs to be pressed? Yeah, well, I mean, not pressed, but, but tuned. Yeah. Um, yeah, just change the heads and... Uh, so these will be out soon, and the purple yeah. snare went back together, so that can go out. Yeah, the yeah, light kits yeah, went in those two drums, so that can go out. All right, so we made some decent progress, even though I spent my day just being a merry, merry maid. Yeah. <laughs> Getting all Martha Stewart up in this place. You know, that's right. Oh, I gotta make these freaking ears for that dude in England.